house in the Altamont Springs area had a fire about three years ago, but is still stoking concern from neighbors who say it's causing damage to their homes. There's rats infestation. The building is unsafe for kids. There's like 17 kids or 18 kids between this street and that street. Rats and neighbors show us dead trees falling from the property into their yards. This one cracked a wall. Another large tree came crashing through another home's fence. We were saying it was quiet out, calm, and the tree just fell and smashed our fence. Like the whole ground kind of shook. No one's lived there since the fire, and now it's going through foreclosure. People here have been reaching out to the county, hoping something will be done. They couldn't get many answers, so we got involved. According to the county, the only code violations the owners of this home were cited for was having a damaged fence that needed to be repaired. County officials told me it's actually not against their code to have a partially burned down house sitting here for years. As for the trees, the county says it has no certified arborist to tell if they're dead. The house is scheduled for a foreclosure auction next week. After that, a new owner could be cited for some of the problems. Neighbors are hoping someone buys it and tears it down quickly. Buy it, knock it down, and if not, then at least secure it. Board it up, put tall fences around it. It's dangerous and it's nasty and nobody wants that to be next door to them, I mean. In Seminole County, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.